Hey guys, today I'm going to be watching the All God Truffle Shuffle. This is a video by Dr. Lab. This is something that has been requested for me to watch, uh, react to in the comments quite a few times. So I cannot wait to watch this, man. I'm sure it's going to be amazing. And thank you so much to everybody that recommended I should watch this. I really appreciate it. And with that being said, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, don't forget to hit that sub button, man. I'd really appreciate that. And let's go ahead and jump into it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What? The amount of chaos that has happened in the last 20 seconds, dude. Congratulations. <laughs> but I've had this thing. As a VIP to the all guide truffle shuffle. This message will explode. Oh! <laughs> Heavy soldier. Oh. Welcome to the All Guide Truffle Shuffle. I am your host and I see that we have the first guest. The heavy disaster always comes with him. Coming up next, the soldier himself jumped across the country like a true American. <laughs> Soldiers laugh, man, or scream. the scream. And soldiers scream. It just gives to me. It gets me laughing every time. And I see the scout himself arriving on his medic. A real doctor never arrives without his patient. Oh. He is sneaky and slimy. It is the spy himself. Look at that romantic baffle. And of course, the sniper comes with his van. And what is this? He shows off his six sniper skills right on spot. I hear the pyro is coming on his motorcycle. <laughs> now we see the scout summoning our beloved Texas. What? And as always, the demo man comes last, but of course, he needs a bigger parking space for his ship. <laughs> what? He's bringing in a ship. <laughs> now that everyone arrived, we get right up started soon enough. Tiny Desk Corporation loves the planet. That is why we send our garbage directly into the sun. Join us now. You can into become the a sun. toucher, a scientist, a chair tester, or a torture tester. If you fail, don't worry. We send you directly into the sun. Tiny Desk Corporation <laughs> is always watching. Join now. What? <laughs> Today, we take a look at the engineer. The engineer is a I can already tell this is going to be one of these where I, I can't stop laughing, man, because of the amount of, like, chaos and everything that's happening at once. Soft-spoken, amiable Texan with an interest in all things mechanical. Oh. He specializes in constructing and maintaining buildings that provide support for his team, rather than fighting at the front lines, making him suitable for defense. Oh. The engineer's various gadgets include the sentry gun, an automated turret that fires at any enemy in range. The dispenser, a device that restores health and ammunition of nearby teammates and teleporters that quickly transport players from point A to point B. Now you want to be a real Texan? Yeah! Very good, <laughs> but before you can even call yourself an engineer, make sure that you know your own buildings. Alrighty then! Take care for them like they are your own children. First, what? you have the sentry gun. It what? What is this, man? It never misses its target. <laughs> So it is the perfect use for defending an important point, or help your team by moving it forward to support them. Let's get to that. If Ooh. you want to be the best engineer, Heck yes. support your team with the dispenser. <laughs> Always place it on the right spot. <laughs> Unicorn up, boys. And Ooh. for fast transportation, the teleporter is the perfect choice. <laughs> Use it to help your team in reaching the front lines faster. I am scared, you maggots. <laughs> if you have more engineers in your team, never build your buildings too close to each other. Always spread them out for best defense and help your Texan buddies. One demo man is always enough to destroy you all. Now that you know your own buildings, don't forget that you also have weapons for self-defense against the bad guys. There is your shotgun. It does great damage at close range. Should you ever need to defend yourself. Dude, the way his face looks right now. <laughs> in your buildings. <laughs> There is also your pistol, but beware who you shoot with it. Fight like men. 
and you're trustworthy. <laughs> Always. <laughs> oh my god! The one weapon you use to repair and upgrade your buildings by punching oh. with it. Team Fortress 2 has tons of weapons and even the engineer not, but that is not Was that Saxon Hell, dude? I printed a little little cameo there. I was also told there is a Saxon Hell boss fight that you can do and it's like up to 20 players i really really want to get a whole group of people together for that so if you're interested in trying to join me i'll probably be streaming that on twitch if you want to join me over there um i'll probably trying to i'm doing my best anyway to, to, to try to get a full server on that so hopefully we can experience it the way That's it was right. supposed to because or i'm assuming it would be better you... with a bunch of people i don't know if it's like better if you just do it with a smaller group of people i don't really know says the gunslinger the ultimate masterpiece in engineering, science, and psychological terror. Finally, it is revealed on what is under the glove. Be the ultimate engineer with this weapon. It will replace your heavy armored super sentry gun with a tiny, tiny version. Now that <laughs> a you tiny, know tiny your version. And guns, let's talk about your enemies. Yeah. Oh, yes, even the engineer has enemies. The whole other team, mostly the spy, who has the sapper. <laughs> that friend's voice recorder is able to disable and slowly destroy your buildings. So look out for spy. <laughs> His face! <laughs> they are always behind you. The demo man is scary too. He can destroy your buildings oh. with sticky bombs. So watch out for something drunk oh. and astonish. Now that you know the basics about engineering, you can finally call yourself engineer, and your team <laughs> will trust you and only you to defend the control point. <laughs> Have fun. Okay, that was that was pretty cool. Very nice. Oh. Today, we take a look at the heavy. <laughs> what was I mean the spy. The spy, oh. hailing from an indeterminate region of France, is an enthusiast. <laughs> of <laughs> oh no, he did. Oh my god, dude, no, he didn't. Oh, oh, this is too good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Sharp this is amazing. Sharper knives. He relies on stealth and trickery to aid his team. Using a unique array of cloaking watches, boss, he can I'm render on. himself invisible or even fake his own death, leaving unaware opponents <laughs> off guard. His disguise kit lets him take on the form of any class on either team, <laughs> allowing him to blend in while behind enemy lines before stabbing his unsuspecting teammates in the back. In fact, a swift back... <laughs> I don't know what the like the snorting is with, with spy, but it's so funny, man. With any of the spy's knives, will kill most foes in a single hit. Look at his face. Provided they aren't under the effects of any type of invulnerability or some other form of immense damage reduction. Ooh. In addition, the spy possesses the ability to disable and destroy engineer constructed buildings with his sapper. The spy is capable to enter enemy teleporter and can use this to make his way to the enemy team and blend in among them. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Oh, dude, it was the jar. Attractive spy? I think not. That's a good start. But before you can call yourself a real spy, I let's take a look at your weapons, you abilities, and enemies. <laughs> we already learned that you can backstab the bad guys with a knife. Buy yourself some talent. But Ooh. before you backstab somebody, you should observe and learn about the person you want to kill with a tiny knife. Because most enemies learn to turn around. <laughs> As a spy, go where nobody goes to get behind the enemy line. And if you use your disguise kit, act like the guy you disguised yourself as. But if you disguise yourself as a scout, don't forget that you will never be as fast as him. Congratulations, you found out that you have a revolver. Now you can kill almost everybody in far away. I feel terrible. Even your arch nemesis, the pyro. I'm back. <laughs> Unless it found out that it has an air blast. As a spy, you are also able to call for some German doom on the enemy team. Now you can finally play the class yes. that everybody hates what? but also wants to play. Have fun. Easy scout. Rainbows make me cry. 
sweet land of liberty. Attention! Today, oh man! Take a look at the soldier. Oh, okay. The soldier is a crazed, jingoistic patriot from America's heartland. Tough and well armed, he is versatile, capable of both offense and defense, and a great starter class to get familiar with the game. <laughs> The soldier is well known for his spectacular rocket jump. The, the facial expressions and stuff they make, that's what really gets to me, man. Like the, the screaming, the way their faces look, it's just so funny. In defiance of all good sense and judgment, the soldier can detonate a rocket at his feet and launch himself skyward. <laughs> of course, it needs practice. This ability allows the soldier to appear from unexpected places. Wanna see a magic <laughs> trick? Press the. Oh! and reach areas off limits even to the scout double <laughs> jump and height jumps what the hell well balanced and possessing both survivability and mobility the soldier is considered one of the most flexible classes what the game. despite his low foot speed he is capable of using rocket jumps oh To reach his destination, his large health pool is second only to that of the heavy. Now you want to be the real American dream, also known as the soldier? I am a pretty- Oh. Uh, That's fantastic. Call me. <laughs> now let's take a look at your big guns. Who wants a bloody horn? The rocket launcher does great damage, but the damage it does depends on range and love. <laughs> Aim rockets at enemy's feet to ensure that they can't avoid the explosion damage. Also make sure to re- I don't even know what's happening half the time. It's so it's so random and so funny. Oh, rocket launcher all the time. By what? The, way, the rocket gun. <laughs> oh man, I, dude, this is just, this is one of those videos, man. Oh, I'll spray a tear to my eye. It's one of those videos. It's just it's too funny. It's too chaotic. The screaming, the random explosions. It's just the randomness of it all, man. It's so funny. Over, there's no damage. While your rockets are feared, experienced pyros can deflect them back to you. If you find yourself in close range combat, use your shotgun or your meal weapon so you won't hurt yourself firing rockets. <laughs> but hurting yourself is useful for the medic because he will be able to build up his uber charge faster. <laughs> Never stand. Oh my god, dude, this is too funny, man. This is too funny, dude. And still, as a soldier, you are no sniper. Now that you know on how to kick your enemies back in time to kick them back into the future, you can finally call yourself a real soldier. U.S.A. <laughs> Have fun. Wow. Huh, not bad, Apples. Today, we take a look at the sniper. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hailing from the lost country of New Zealand and raised in the unforgiving Australian outback, the sniper is a tough and ready. Oh! The sniper's main role on the battlefield is to pick off important enemy targets from afar using his sniper rifle and its ability to Ooh. instantly kill a target with a headshot. Oh! He is effective at long range, but weakens with proximity, where he is forced to use his submachine gun. Or his cookery. As a result, the sniper tends to perch on high grounds or in hard to see places where he can easily pin down enemies You're at choke strong. points. I'm weak and I... uh. Although he is typically known for instantaneously killing enemies at a distance, the sniper can use the huntsman to get closer to the enemy. Ooh. <laughs> Additionally, oh, the Sydney sleeper <laughs> and the mysterious. <laughs> This video is too much, man. Allow him to take on a support role. By causing enemies. Oh. 
Now you want to be the sniper? That's excellent, but also nah. hard since Team Fortress 2 needs a lot of skills and practice. It will destroy your soul, dreams, and your own family. All hail the sandwich. Let's forget about what I said. I was like, who who's hiding in the backpack? There's like is that scout or somebody in like a barrel back Wait, there? As a sniper, it might happen that you fight enemy snipers. But don't worry, it's mostly easy to fight back if you ambush those snipers from unexpected places. <laughs> you are most effective at long range. But don't oh. stay at the same spot all the time. Keep changing your shooting spots to destroy the most important targets. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Feels. <laughs> While you are sniping around, it might happen that a spy will try to backstab you. Ooh! <laughs> Try to look around next time, or use the Razorback. If you happen to spot an engineer nest, but can't see the engineer, shoot the sentry or another building first. <laughs> what so is the going on? Will show himself to repair it. Good job. You can finally call yourself a real sniper. You can shoot people now. Have fun with your great accomplishment. Oh, wow, dude. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Today, we take a look at the... <laughs> That's all I hear half the time when you're playing the game. Medic! <laughs> oh. What he lacks in compassion for the sick, respect for human dignity, and any sort of verifiable formal training in medicine, the medic more than makes up with a bottomless supply of giant needles and a trembling enthusiasm for punching them. I can't right now, dude. And exposed flesh. Oh. Raised in Stuttgart, Germany. During an era where the Hippocratic Oath had been downgraded to an optional Hippocratic suggestion, the medic confers healing the generally unattended side effect of satisfying his own morbid curiosity. <laughs> the medic is a Teutonic man of medicine. While he may have a tenuous adherence to medical ethics, he is nonetheless the primary healing class of the team. Ooh. Medic, syringe gun and bone saw aren't the greatest weapons for direct combat. He can typically still be found near the front lines, healing wounded teammates whilst trying to stay out of combat. I am fully charged. So you want to be Hippocratic German doctor? First of all, you have to know about your primary healing targets. Would you heal the heavy or the scout first? That's right. You heal the heavy and everybody else first. Nobody likes the scout. <laughs> no, they didn't to do this as scout, man. <laughs> Your primary heal target is always the most wounded teammate. Don't be a pocket medic. You suck. Love everybody and they will love you back. Earn respect and be the god of the team. <laughs> now that we know about how to heal people, Let's take a look at your defense enemies. Now? Not now. now. Speaking of enemies, the whole enemy team <laughs> will try to kill you. Run for your life. <laughs> As the medic, don't underestimate your own defense. You can fight back. <laughs> if a situation on the battlefield is too much for you and your life to handle, Ooh. run back to your base to recover and regroup. A dead medic is a sad medic. <laughs> now that you survived and this is on this looks like it was um on the mario kart it was like a mario kart level i believe there were some people in my twitch chat telling me um that that's what the team fabulous 2 that's why that entire video is in the mario kart because back in the day that was like a really really popular map i don't know if those maps were like still up or people still play on those kind of maps but i know that they were telling me that that was one of like the popular maps back in the day we can finally come to your final step the uber charge you can build up your uber charge meter by healing wounded teammates on the battlefield. Once it's full, you can activate your charge. <laughs> oh, dude. 
Okay, this this is just so good, man. The quality and everything of this, the humor, the randomness, now this is just awesome. You and your healing target are invulnerable for a few seconds. Uh, <laughs> a pyro's air blast and explosion damage can still slap you back. <laughs> Now you can call yourself a real doctor. You can heal people on the battlegrounds. Have fun with your great accomplishment. Alright. Today, we take a look at the I claim this point for France! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> The Demo Man is a drunk swirling demolitions expert from Scottish town of Ullapool and is one of the versatile members of the team. A master uh -oh. of explosives, the Demo Man, strategically, deals massive amount direct and low range splash damage. <laughs> Armed with his face, dude. Launcher and sticky bomb launcher, the Demo Man uses his one good eye and the knowledge of his surrounding environment for a well timed sticky bomb detonation that sends wow. him skyward. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> He's still staring at him. Oh, <laughs> man cast his explosive ordinance, however. They will be shocked to learn that the demo man is extremely efficient at melee combat, being one of the deadliest. I was gonna say it the demo night, man. I see that I seen the sword users in the game. With a variety of powerful meal unlocks in his arsenal. Do you want Ooh. to be a real Scottish demo man? Makes me a good demo man? <laughs> Ooh. As a demo man, you have to play Scotch. A real demolition man has to drink a lot of scrumpy before the battle to fight like it's supposed to be. Wow. While you are drunk, you have to aim your sticky bombs everywhere. Jump around and shoot them randomly while you pray to hit a target. <laughs> Congratulations, you finally hit something. As the drunken Scottish man of explosions, you are able to destroy whole sentry nests with only one well-placed sticky bomb. Oh, dude. You can even jump to your <laughs> sticky bombs, but it needs practice. You are able to strike even more fear into your enemies with your meal combat. Unicorn! Yeah. <laughs> oh, dude. Congratulations, Mr. Explosion. You can call yourself a real demo man. You can destroy everything now. Have fun. <laughs> Oh, dang, dude. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, no. Is that Godzilla? <laughs> Now we got Godzilla in the mix! <laughs> the Pyro God. <laughs> oh. What is, is, what is this, the, the dinosaur from Jurassic World? Is that snake from Metal Gear over there in Mass Effect? I thank you. Oh my god! The pirate. <laughs> I can't, dude. I can't. I knew within the first two minutes of this that this was going to be something I couldn't stop laughing at. Is a mumbling pyromaniac of Ender Terminator Ridging who has a burning passion for all things fire. <laughs> it's because... In my opinion, you just, you don't know what's coming next. Like, literally so much can happen in 15 seconds on these kind of videos, man. It's hilarious. The Pyro specializes in fighting enemies in close range using a homemade flamethrower. 
Oh. Enemies set on fire suffer from afterburn and take additional damage over time. Ooh. Allowing the pyro to excel on hit and run tactics. Due to the flamethrower's short range, the pyro is weaker at longer rangers and relies on heavily Ooh. on ambushing and taking alternate routes to catch opponents of guard. The pyro's compression blast can deflect enemy projectiles, extinguish burning teammates, and forcibly <laughs> reposition any enemy. Because most enemies hit by fire are visibly ignited, the pyro is the best class for spy checking. Ooh! Now that was close! The pyro wears an asbestos <laughs> line <lineup. laughs> I can't with this, dude. I can't with this. I literally can't. It is so random, man. It's so funny. From the afterburn of other pyros. Oh my Though dude. Do not add any resistance to the direct damage taken from a flamethrower slash explosion. Now you want to become the most hated thing in the entire game. That's disturbing. We start That's disturbing. your fire and running forward. You should never do that. Instead, keep an eye out around you for enemies and try to get them into close range combat. <laughs> you may now notice that your flamethrower is capable of doing more than just oh, burning no. your victims. Activate your fart blast to return the projectiles back to the owner. Or push enemies into holes. <laughs> or into the sentry nest of your friendly engineer neighbors. Thank them by checking for random spies. They will love you forever. Not bad. Not bad at all. A pyro versus pyro situation can be tricky. Oh, oh, oh they're using the taunt. <laughs> you can burn a whole group of enemies. Even if they don't die, the afterburn will do the rest. Because Valve has no idea. Totally accurate, Valve's headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> class or anything else regarding the pyro. <laughs> now that you are finally a mistake of nature and mankind, you wow. can call yourself a pyro. Burn everything. Be the monster. Have fun. <laughs> it's perfect. Looks like a scout's Today, turn. We take a look at this. <laughs> I am the scout here. You soaked sandwich eat bread. The overused and hyperactive piece of reproductive organ failure you that keeps annoying your suck. grandmother on the other side of the road, also known as the scout, <laughs> is one of the fastest creatures in Team Fortress. I was like, the scout gets so much crap, man. He really does. The sixth tiny man from a known fairy tale is a fast-running scrapper with a baseball bat and a snarky, in-your-face attitude. Yo! His double jump leaves slow opponents such as the heavy struggling to keep up and helps him navigate the terrain while dodging incoming projectiles. Dang. He has low health so the scout keeps running back and forth while trying to land a hit on the enemy's butts before he dies a miserable death. <laughs> the scout is an excellent choice for complaining enemy teams and capturing an objective point or highly explosive cart quickly. Ooh. Now you want to become the most annoying that the from heavy's <laughs> while getting at by the demo man in the entire game. Excellent. <laughs> we should start by introducing Ooh. your mobility. You should be able to jump <laughs> once but also twice into the air. Use that ability together with your speed to get to faraway points much quicker or to dodge enemies. If you totally fail in your jumping games, you have a gigantic gun that is even more powerful than the rocket launcher from the soldier to shoot enemies with. For the first time in my life, I am a freaking wizard! <laughs> Oh, wow. You should never wow. stand still as a scout. Your survivability depends on your fast movements and constantly shooting guns. You are a close range combat wow. class, so you have to be very close to Call the enemy. Daddy. You are no sniper. <laughs> as the scout, the smallest mistakes can mean death to you. So it would be helpful to know the location of he literally just fell backwards, got the health kit, kept running. <laughs> health packs around the map. Naturally, another scout is your worst enemy, but every other class in the game is easily capable to kill you. Ooh. Now that you know the basics to become a piece of dry potato, you can finally a piece call of yourself dry potato. Dumbass. I mean scout. You are the perfect killing machine that nobody deserves or wants. Shame on you. Have fun. <laughs> wow. Hmm. He's nice. <laughs> you know, I... <laughs> Today, we take a look at the head. 
Ooh. You deserve it. Yes. My tiny beautiful biscuit. Why shall we be? <laughs> My tiny beautiful biscuit. <laughs> Again. Yeah. Comrade? The Heavy is a gigantic <laughs> individual coming from some Russian mountain region in Russia. He is the main face you might see when you dream about Team Fortress 2. Sleep. Which is totally being Sleep. updated all the time. Surprise Big Muck. The Heavy holds a PhD in Russian literature and is more intelligent than he seems. If hand is rotten, you cut off. Scout! <laughs> but if heart is... The true scout! Sandwich! His actual name is Sandwich! But we call him Heavy because he is... Like a Russian... With an insane mind and a wholesome heart. The heavy is no pushover and is the one with the most health in default. Heavy will vomit around 300 points. <laughs> he always holds a massive minigun, capable of shredding through tiny men. But of course, such a giant comes with a weakness, which is his movement. He is the slowest class in the game. Come on! Come on! <laughs> now you want to become the ultimate Russian force of nature, destroying enemies in the glory of your motherland? Uh, bro! You are the heavy, a gigantic creature and a true monster everybody should fear. said uh Putin's engage as well i bro it it had me dying man it's so funny but such high health and damage output comes with weaknesses you can't ignore yourself your worst enemies are those that are faster than you or just sit back and shoot you from afar so always watch out for snorting or cursing <laughs> He like came down as he was snorting, dude. Oh, what? Your primary weapon is your loving baby. Heavy shield loves Sasha, Natasha, Svetlana, Oksana, and Sheila. Perhaps a bit too much. But love never breaks you apart as you must passionately wind up your gun to fire. It. You can surprise enemies by winding up behind a corner. Ooh. A little jump may also <laughs> give the extra fear factor. Just try to keep your gun ready. The heavy also wields a shotgun by default, but nobody uses it because a snack is much more valuable for Mother Russia. A single bite from your trusty sandwich can fully heal you. <laughs> you can also drop it at your teammates to heal them. You just must wait till it's recharged. Heavy is a strong boy, and so he uses his fists instead of pitiful weapons. Oh, dude. Combat. Gotta look at, like, straight up Doom. His secret anime technique. Your best, <laughs> the <most> <laughs> part. Drop the Voldemort. <laughs> is the medic. A medic and heavy combination are a truly fearful display of strength and sometimes intelligence. Charge me! <laughs> That was excellent. That juicy German guy with questionable ethics instantly becomes your life mate once you are the heavy. So, keep him close to your heart or he might be stolen. This is mine now. This is mine now. One heavy seems scary enough, but imagine a whole company of heroes. <laughs> what are we witnessing right now, dude? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> they got medic down there playing the accordion or whatever that is. <laughs> like what? The large group of dude, that was amazing. Come unstoppable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! There's not much else to say. You are a scary creature fighting alongside your comrades. Oh, but heavy was just getting started. Boom. Oh. Oh. 
kind of thing. Thank you for watching the All Guide Truffle Shuffle. Now oh man. Enjoy the cinema for the next grand premiere. Get the fuck out. Oh dude. That that was awesome. That was awesome. I just want to be sure there's like nothing else at the end here. And hey, these credits are look really good too. Okay, it doesn't look like there is. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it looks like that was everything. Dude, that was awesome. Thank you so much to those of you that recommended I should watch this. Could not stop laughing during this. Shed a few tears. This was amazing, man. This was super funny. So if you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to hit it with a like, man. It really helps out the channel here. If there's anything else you want to see me react to, you're more than welcome to put it in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to put it on the list to make. Um, and if you want to, you're more than welcome to come join me on Twitch. I go live on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday nights. You're more than welcome to come hang out with me over there. I know that Team Fortress 2 just got, like, a big new update. I want to say they upgraded to the 64-bit update, or the, this was the 64-bit update. that I think it was uh, yesterday or the day before. So I'm definitely going to be trying it out on my Twitch, of course. And you're more than welcome to come join me over there. So that's all I got for you, man. I will see you in the next video. And do not forget, it's Work Army for life.